Manasia. Yes. Manasia aku juga kisah ni. Kau ni yang aku lupa. Ada kerja aku lupa. Kau pandi juga. Some of the Inuit artists have been hard to locate because of so many spellings of oh, their yeah. names. Eh? Yeah. When I was born, I was called uh, Paniluk until I got uh, baptized at the age of 12. Mm -hmm. Then I became Manasia, but the teacher couldn't, uh, couldn't say it too much. He didn't, he didn't like that. He changed it to Manasia. Oh look, you've got some beautiful uh, things here today. Uh, I wanted to ask you about a couple of them. I think uh, uh, this one right here, did you want to say anything about that? I made this for somebody. She was a white lady, so that's why she's tall. Yeah. Uh, and the dog is not, it's not husky. No. It's a solid dog. Yeah. Look at this beautiful little um, Arctic owl here. They really, yeah. they're almost looking through you kind of thing. When I'm looking at pieces, I mean, I, as you know, I, I have an art gallery of my own, and when I'm looking at pieces of, uh, of uh, Inuit art, that's one of the things that I'm looking for is, I want to know, does the person um, carving it, do they seem to really care about the subject? And the other thing that I want to know is, do they know something about the subject? Like, if someone's carving a bear, do they have their own feeling about a bear, or is it something they saw on TV? Polar bears, I consider them to be majestic animals, powerful, and they can survive in the cold. Mm. But they're in trouble now because of the uh, global warming. You brought uh, like some of these uh, materials too. What is this? This is um, that's alabaster. alabaster. Uh, the Italian alabaster. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's some uh, soapstone. Yeah. yeah. And I've been using quite a bit of whale bones because I find them. They have a different texture, different coloring. That helps me to determine what kind of a carving is going to be. I noticed some of these tools. It used to be when I was a kid, everything was like a, a regular file, a hatchet, oh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, a yeah. saw, mm -hmm. a, like a, a hacksaw. And now I see you have some tools that are uh, specialized for sculpting, yes. right? I remember my grandparents. I remember them carving. And they always use uh, just few tools, just mm. a hacksaw and this tool that oh, wow. uh, it's, uh, instead of uh, chiseling away, like, uh, like with these two, you know, that's uh, yeah. normally you would do. Yeah. This one, you can do a uh, small pieces. Oh, that's, wow. Uh, that's how it was invented. It's quite like filmmaking in a way because like, something starts taking shape, but not all at once. And then you look at it and it's a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Eventually, eventually, after quite a long time, you say, I'm done. Inuit art, I think uh, it comes from uh, when we're uh, living in a uh, nomadic way. Uh, you have to make your own, uh, you have to make your tools, you have to make everything that you need. And the carving is no different from uh, making your harpoon or making a comb. It's all about uh, creating it and making it, making it work, uh, solving the problems as you go. That's really wise words. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I live by them every day in my filmmaking. Because if I try to think about the whole thing, um, yeah, I'm going to go big. crazy. It's too <laughs> big. It's too much. So I think, well, I'll just work on the music a little bit today, <laughs> yeah. or I'll just work just a little bit over here, <laughs> oh, yeah. and eventually it comes together. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's the beauty of it.